Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how easy it is to automatically rename bulk PDF files based on their content using NanoNets. For this demo, we'll rename my rent receipts based on the month of the receipt. I have a bunch of these files I want to rename that you'll notice are named differently. Let's have a look at a couple of them. Here we see the section of the receipt that mentions the month. This is the data point we will be using for renaming. Let's get straight to it. First, log into your NanoNets account or create a new one with your business domain. It's free. Then let's create a new workflow. To make things easier, I'll select the receipts workflow template. You can choose the other options or even create a custom template. It's your choice. Next, click on upload file and upload a sample receipt. This is where we specify the data point for month, which the model will then use to rename files. Notice how most fields are pre-filled by the model. Here we see that the model has already identified the month of the receipt. But what if there's a field you want to use for renaming that wasn't pre-filled? Simply select the area of the page you want the model to read with your mouse and add the label. For example, I just added a new field name over here. Now let's say you want the renamed file to go to a specific folder on your Google Drive. How do you do that? Easy. Go to the workflow tab of your model, scroll down to the export section and add a Google Drive export block. Now connect your Google Drive account, select rename and move files as the action and select the target folder. I've created a folder in my Drive account to export all the renamed PDFs. Now under the file name, define the renaming pattern. Here, I want to rename the files as receipt underscore the month of the receipt. The export trigger is set to on inference by default and you can change that if required. Now click run test to verify if everything works correctly. Yes, it does. I can see that the file has been renamed as receipt underscore June. Now we'll save this workflow by clicking on the add integration button and we'll test it out on the batch of rent receipts that we have. Let's head back to the extract data tab and upload all the rent receipts for bulk processing. NanoNets also supports integrations with SharePoint, OneDrive and more, making it versatile for various needs. Now that the files have been uploaded and processed, let's check the Google Drive folder to ensure the files were correctly renamed and exported. Success. The files are properly renamed based on the content. That's it for this demo. Thanks for watching.